Spider's electronically controlled top system, a single touch of a switch operates all the components automatically to open the top. Push the switch in the closed direction and the system components again operate automatically in sequence to close the top. You'll notice the hardtop stops when it's a few inches from the windshield header, in case there's any obstruction. If all clear, push the switch again until the hardtop is latched. Continue holding the switch in the closed position to close all the windows. When the top is secured, the chime and the indicator lamp next to the switch will stay on for one second, then turn off. Also note that the quarter windows operate together and are for hardtop operation only, not for ventilation. Now let's take a detailed look at the entire opening sequence for the retractable hardtop. Under normal circumstances, the hardtop is in the fully closed position. The quarter windows are closed. The door windows can be in any position. The tonneau is closed. The hardtop storage area is empty. The engine is idling and the transmission is in park if it's an automatic or neutral if it's a manual. And the parking brake is applied. Power is supplied to the ECU through a 60 amp fuse in the engine fuse and relay box. While the hardtop is operating, a red LED will flash and a chime will sound at about one second intervals. The first thing that happens when you press the switch is the ECU supplies power to the door and quarter window motors to open the windows. When the quarter windows fully open, the ECU supplies power to the header latch motor to unlatch the hardtop. After the hardtop unlatches, the tonneau latch release motors pull a cable releasing them. As the tonneau unlatches, the ECU supplies power to the tonneau pump motor raising the tonneau. A position sensor, similar to a throttle position sensor, is located on the tonneau lift mechanism and allows the ECU to monitor its position. When there is enough clearance, the ECU supplies power to the hardtop pump motor. As the hardtop opens, a cable attached to the hardtop extends, releasing the tonneau flipper doors. The ECU monitors hardtop location through another position sensor located on the hardtop main pivot. After the hardtop is fully stowed, the tonneau closes and is mechanically pulled to the latched position by cables attached to the tonneau lift mechanisms. Closing the hardtop is basically the reverse procedure. The hardtop is in the fully open position. The tonneau is closed. The vehicle is idling in park if it's an automatic or neutral if it's manual, and the parking brake is applied. By pressing the hardtop switch to the close position, the ECU starts the closing sequence. The tonneau position sensor tells the ECU when the tonneau is open far enough to begin closing the hardtop. The hardtop stops when it's a few inches from the windshield header. This is a safety precaution. Press the switch to the close position again to continue closing the hardtop. At this time, the tonneau will begin to close. When the header latch strikers enter the header latch, the header latch position switch tells the ECU to apply power to the header latch motor. After the header is latched, the ECU turns off the hardtop pump motor. The tonneau continues to the closed position and latches. After the tonneau is closed and latched, the quarter windows and door windows close. Because the hardtop is stored in what would normally be the trunk area, it's important that the area is clear. If an object is detected in the hardtop stowage area by the object in trunk sensor, the hardtop will only open halfway. Closing the top on an obstruction could cause anything from minor scratches to serious structural damage. To avoid this problem, the object detection system uses a pressure sensitive mat bonded to the floor of the trunk to detect objects that might be in the hardtop storage area. The sensitivity of the object detection system cannot be adjusted and not every possible obstruction will be detected. 
Detection depends on the size, shape, and placement of the object. But even a lightweight object, such as this volleyball, will be detected as the closing action of the hardtop forces it against the pressure-sensitive mat. When this happens, the ECU will reverse the hardtop and send it back to the halfway position. The chime and LED on the console will operate at twice their normal rate to indicate an object was detected. After removing the object, operation may be resumed by pressing the switch again. The tonneau can be operated independently of the hardtop by pressing the tonneau switch located next to the hardtop switch on the console. This can only be done when the hardtop is in the closed and latched position. The tonneau cannot be operated independently with the tonneau switch if the hardtop is open. The switch is electrically locked out. Before we move on, let's review hardtop operation precautions. When opening or closing the retractable hardtop, keep hands clear of roof panel joints and any part of the hardtop or hard tonneau mechanisms. Keep hands and any part of the body away from moving parts such as power quarter windows, power door windows, and the top of the windshield where the hardtop latches. Avoid operating the retractable hardtop system without the engine running. This could quickly run down the battery. Check the hardtop stowage area if you're not sure it's empty before operating the retractable hardtop. Any object in the trunk could damage the top. Once the hardtop is opened, do not place items on or around the hardtop. Always make sure that the hard tonneau is closed before driving the vehicle. Don't sit or place excessive weight on the hard tonneau or on the trim panels above the rear seat backs. And finally, never attempt to operate the retractable hardtop or hard tonneau while the vehicle's in motion. The hardtop ECU is linked to the vehicle speed sensor and will not allow operation if the vehicle's moving. Also, for hardtop operation, the parking brake must be on and the transmission in park for the automatic or neutral for the manuals.